Battlefront have moved away from resin and metal aircraft in favour of plastic kits. Some of these are their own designs, while others are reboxed kits from other manufacturers. But Battlefront's kits aren't the only ones on offer. Join me for a look at a few alternative aircraft kits for Team Yankee and Flames of War. Aircraft and helicopters add another dimension to tabletop miniatures games like Flames of War and Team Yankee. Before we get into this video too far, I wanted to have a word about scale. Battlefront games are 15mm or 1/100th scale. This is true for vehicles, figures and helicopters. But because fixed-wing aircraft are generally much larger, these are represented in the game using 1/144th scale. This is a bit of a compromise, and this note on Battlefront's website talks about this in detail. This 144th scale compromise is actually a good thing for us. Many traditional hobby kit manufacturers offer aircraft in this scale. For example, this is my Typhoon in 144th scale that I use for Flames of War. It's a Ravel kit. These are cheap, easy to build, and widely available. Here's the sprue for the very similar Hawker Tempest, also in 144th scale from Ravel. Parts count is pretty low, so these are a good choice for wargaming. However, these moulds date from the early 1970s and they've been in continual use since. They're starting to show some wear. You can see the flash around some of the parts. But this is generally easy to clean up and the base kit is pretty good. The Ravel kits come with transparent canopies and display stands. The stands are a bit small, low and flimsy for wargaming. You might need something a bit more substantial. The Ravel kits all come with decals, but each kit has the same decals, so getting markings to represent a flight of aircraft might be a challenge. The Micro Wings range has a good selection with 16 different aircraft. These include both Allied and Axis types. Ravel also make a selection of jets suitable for Team Yankee. In fact, the current Plastic Harrier Support Flight Box Set contains the plastic from Ravel's BAE Harrier GR7 kit. The GR7 is about 10 years too late for the original Team Yankee timeline, but it was the version of the aircraft that was already available in plastic. Inside the Battlefront box is two sets of this kit. You can see it's designed as a model kit, not a wargaming kit, so the parts count is higher. There are also unused parts like the undercarriage and cockpit interiors. Ravel's kit only has air-to-air -air weapons. The Battlefront kit includes some resin cluster bombs. The canopy in the Battlefront kit is not transparent. Similarly, the new plastic A-10 Warthog Fighter Flight Kit is a reboxed Ravel kit. Other Team Yankee plastic aircraft kits come from other manufacturers. The plastic Su-25 Frogfoot Aviation Company is a battlefront reboxing of the Academy kit. Here are the sprues from the kit. I got mine in the T-80 Shock Company box. Again, the high parts count shows this was a model kit, not designed as a wargaming piece. Plastic stores supplied in the kit include rocket pods, bombs and fuel tanks. The Battlefront kit includes thermoplastic KH-25 air-to-surface missiles. Again, the original cockpit transparencies are cast in opaque plastic. The Battlefront kit also includes decals, flight stands and a Team Yankee unit card. Another alternative aircraft manufacturer is Vesda. They produce a range of 144th scale World War II aircraft for their now defunct Art of Tactic game. These kits are designed for wargaming, so are very simple and rugged. This is Mai's Vesta Stuka. Pardon the average paintwork. Here's the sprue for the IL-2 Sturmovik. These are very simple kits, but well up to representing aircraft for a tabletop wargame. Parts are well moulded with just a little flash. The parts count is low, as you would expect from a wargaming kit. These are engineered as push fit, so technically you don't even need glue. Zvezda kits come with decals and large black plastic flight stands. The stands look nice, but in practice they're a bit unstable for tabletop use. But they are cheap kits and simple to build. These are a good alternative choice for Germans and Russians wanting air support for Flames of War. However, their range is a bit eclectic. They have a number of mainstream British, German and Russian kits, but otherwise an odd selection of mainly early war types. 
The Stuka IL-2 and Hurricane are okay, but Polycarpov I-16s, PO-2s and Ferry Battles are less likely to be useful. Svesta do have 144th scale Hind and Apache helicopters that might suit Team Yankee, but I haven't bought one to see what they're like. So I've mentioned other wargame manufacturers like Svesta, and traditional aircraft kit makers like Academy and Ravel, but there are dozens of other manufacturers out there. Some of them are obscure, or almost unknown. This is an F-111 kit from China I bought as a possible air support option for my Australians in Team Yankee. I think it cost about $10. There are similar obscure or unknown brands producing World War II aircraft as well. A simple search on eBay can turn up any number of possibilities in 144th scale. So why look at alternatives? What are the pros and cons? Third-party kits can give you interesting alternatives, and in some cases, like the Zvezda kits, they can be slightly cheaper. They can allow you to field aircraft not already modelled in the game, or act as a proxy for an existing aircraft just to provide some visual interest on the table. But many of these alternatives are model kits, not wargaming kits, so parts count can be higher. I came to wargaming through modelling, so not an issue for me, but this might be a turn-off for some wargamers. While some alternative kits have stands, many do not, and those that do are designed for display rather than play. You might need to find a more robust and suitable flight stand option for the table. Battlefront sell their flight stands separately, but you could also fabricate your own. Alternative kits don't come with unit cards for the games. Just another thing you'll have to source for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at alternative aircraft and helicopters for Team Yankee and Flames of War. Don't get me wrong, Battlefront kits are great and I've bought a number of them. They're the first port of call for Flames of War and Team Yankee players, but it's fun to consider what else is available. After all, what East German player wouldn't want a flight of SU-22 fitters on the table as a stand-in for Frogfoots?